Today we're going to go over some easy tips and mnemonics to make sure you never forget the muscles of mastication. Now there are four primary muscles of mastication and the classic mnemonic to remember them is mom makes tasty lasagna. That stands for the masseter, the medial pterygoid muscle, the temporalis, and the lateral pterygoid muscle. Now to help you remember the location of some of these muscles, when you think of chewing something tasty, I want you to think of mmm. Mmm, mmm, so good. Or at least M, M, and M, because this will remind you that the M's stick together in this area. The masseter with an M originates off the zygomatic arch, it then comes down and inserts on the mandible also with an M. It then creates a tendinous sling right here with our other M, the medial pterygoid muscle, which is on the inner surface. So basically you kind of have a mandible sandwich here with the masseter on the lateral surface, then the mandible in the middle, and then the medial pterygoid muscle on the inner surface right here. As for the origin of the medial pterygoid muscle, this can get a little confusing because there's a little too much pterygoid going on right here. So the medial pterygoid muscle originates off the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate, which comes off the sphenoid bone. So the sphenoid bone is here, and then it has these two plates coming down on each side. It has a lateral pterygoid plate, which has a lateral surface and a medial surface, and then it has a medial pterygoid plate, which has a medial surface and a lateral surface as well. So we have two plates, and then we have two pterygoid muscles. So it can be a little confusing, but here's the key. When you're talking about the muscles of mastication, none of these muscles attach to the medial pterygoid plate. The medial pterygoid plate is reserved for muscles dealing with the pharynx and fascia, which we're not dealing with here. So again, if you're being tested on the muscles of mastication only, specifically the two pterygoid muscles, I would just pretend like I'm at a Greek wedding and mentally toss this medial plate to the ground. <laughs> Don't even worry about the medial pterygoid plate because it's all lateral plate when it comes to the pterygoid muscles and the muscles of mastication. So if we know it's all about the lateral pterygoid plate and that's what we're going to focus on, how do we know which muscle is on the medial right here or the lateral surface here? Well the good news here is that the name tells you. The bigger deep head of the medial pterygoid muscle originates off the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate right here. So the medial pterygoid muscle comes off the medial surface of the lateral pterygoid plate. And then the superficial head comes off the maxilla right here. They then join forces and come down and insert again on the mandible, the inner side of the mandible, because again, all three M's stick together. Now the lateral pterygoid muscle, as the name suggests, originates off the lateral surface of the lateral pterygoid plate. Why? Because again, we don't mess with the medial plate around these parts. It does have two heads as well, but the bigger inferior head originates off the lateral surface, while the superior head originates from the infratemporal crest right around here, if you can kind of see it like this. So the superior head then runs posteriorly and inserts on the articular disc of the TMJ, the temporomandibular joint. So it comes down and actually inserts onto the disc, and then the inferior head inserts onto the neck of the condyle right here. Now the interesting thing about the lateral pterygoid muscle is that it's the only primary muscle mastication that helps in depressing or lowering the mandible. It helps you open your mouth. All the other muscles elevate the mandible so you can chew, but the lateral pterygoid along with gravity and some of the suprahyoid muscles allow you to open it. And that's easy to remember just by thinking of the L in lateral pterygoid reminding you that it lowers the mandible. Our last muscle is the temporalis, which is this big fan-like muscle that originates off the temporal fossa here. This is kind of a craterish indent that spans the frontal bone, the parietal bone, the temporal bone, and the sphenoid bone to create this kind of circular indentation. So it originates off the temporal fossa, it then goes down through the tunnel created by the zygomatic arch and inserts on the coronoid process of the mandible. The way I remember this is to think of it like a miner who's digging. So he's going through the tunnel that's created by the zygomatic arch to get to the core of the earth. And that reminds me of the coronoid process. So think of it like a miner or like an oil driller going through the tunnel to reach the core, the coronoid process. All right, so hopefully some of those tips helped you out. As always, thanks for watching. And of course, good luck on your next test.